missing father Stendhal syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. I see. Where do I go? Okay, locked, huh? What the fuck? I was locked. Uh I should go another way. I don't understand. All right, calmly search just like Edward would. The fuck is something oh. is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. I've unlocked something. Okay. Fish. This cylinder was hidden inside Fuller's office. He recorded his thoughts about one of the many psycho psychoanalysis sessions he submitted Sarah Hawkins to. Files. I was right. Okay, so I still have to search his office. For what? I just found this secret demon safe. How? Oh. Conclusions. Section number 17. Anything? Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the immutable nature of what she calls mutancy. It goes without saying that these peculiar delusions are the force that comes with her obsession with mutancy. Low what now? Well, color me surprised. Dr. Fuller writes psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins. First, I presume that her blood was consumed. But I found nothing to explain Mrs. Hawkins' abilities. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Then, then, Mr. Henry, I went to the Charles Peter Secrets Building. I presume that you will try to break into the basement. No one will find it there. I am prepared. Hawkins, Fitzroy, and Fuller. Huh? What is the connection between these three? It is very clear. I had the presence of mind to set the morgue in the basement. When all the fuss about the Hawkins incident finally comes to an end, I will dispose of her remains. In the meantime, they must remain hidden in plain sight. Hidden in plain sight? Is Ethan on medication? Of course, Sarah Hawkins is the connection.
Uh, should I leave? It seems like there's other, there's more shit for me to find in here. I must go back to the basement. Well, apparently not. All right, where is... I found my way. Blood? Uh oh Ah, now that's the Marie that I know. I knew I could count on your scientific curiosity. It's time to show you what you were so eager to discover. Oh shit. If you're gonna shoot, at least have the decency to look me in the eyes. Turn around. Slowly. Talk, filthy thief, or I swear I'll shoot. What just happened? Take a minute to look around. Everything points to Charles Hawkins. He's dead. No, he was here for a very specific item. Oh, no. The book. Why was it in the safe? Have you read it? Answer the question. How foolish of you. Now you won't be able to escape his will. What did it show you? She went into Fuller's office. She was looking for Sarah Hawkins' corpse. Sarah Hawkins, you say? Let's go back to the start, shall we? Whose life did the Necronomicon choose to show you? Dr. Colton. She was at the Riverside Institute. She's in danger. I have to go. Wait. No one knows the occult better than me. You might need my help. All right. Sure. All right. I might need you after all. Perfect. Let's meet later at the Hawkins Mansion. Now go. Rescue the doctor. Thank you, Drake. Yes. Yes, we must save. Dr. Colden! Oh, okay, it's been uh, 40 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and end this video here and start a new one immediately, because this is actually really interesting. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, please. Well, shit, I'll, I accidentally press start. I'll do it after this cutscene. I pray that Colden is really here and alive. Yeah, that'd be that'd be great. Diary of the Pastor's Wife, Volume One. Diary of Run Run of Farmer. An old diary. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment with feedback, like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Engineer, signing off.